there's this really fun, well, I think he's funny most of the time. This comedian did a joke one time, but there's a lot of truth in it, yeah? The way he presented it was in a funny way, but it was also a teaching way, too. That's why I think this comedian is very talented, that he, he knows the power of humor, that it, it's healing, but it also be, humor can also be used to teach. And we have this in our culture, in the Iktomi stories. There's a lot of, a lot of these stories have humor in it, but it's it's such that it's you you learn something at the same time you it you makes you laugh but at the same time you learn something and this comedian is very much like that he said something about cheating on your partner yeah and of course he's a he's a man his first name is dane dane cook dane cook that's his name I know sometimes his humor is kind of raunchy. <laughs> I don't like all of it, okay? I don't like all his the things that he does, but there are some things that are just funny. <laughs> like being in a relationship and the kind of arguments that happen. And it is so funny. And um, there's this one. <laughs> This one one joke he was telling about how, you know, one time he was living with a woman and, you know, they lived in the same, they had, they were living in the same house. and He wasn't looking to uh, have an affair or a fling or anything, but he was in a certain situation where there was a woman there and uh, she was available and she wanted to hook up that night and, and, um, he decided, oh, you know, he got a little bit drunk and he started to, you know, lose his inhibitions. And and he approached her and she, you know, was talking to him. And one thing led to another and they went to her place and and uh, did the did the naughty, yeah. And uh, and then about oh, it was about one o'clock in the morning, he realized he needs to get home. Or his girlfriend's gonna be suspicious. So he came, he came home and uh, was really quiet. And but he was saying every little sound was like he heard a voice saying, "You cheater!" You know. <laughs> so he's starting to feel guilty about it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he, but you know, he told his wife, you know, that he was going to meet with his friends because, you know. Uh, they they go out and go to a movie or you know play pool or something like that, and so she knew he would be home late. Yeah, she knew that. That's just the way it is. Then there, she trusts him. He trusts her. It was a good relationship in the beginning. Yeah, until this night when he cheated on her. So and he came home and you know got in the bed and and uh, you know she was fast asleep and. And when he when he laid in bed, you know, he tried you know, he you know, he washed himself and brushed his teeth and everything like that and and she kissed him, turned over and kissed him and went back to sleep. And and he thought, Oh my gosh, you know. I can't believe this what I did he said he started to feel bad. Yeah. And but at the same time he started to to um you know because of his guilt you know cuz look at the situation yeah he he uh was out with his friends that was uh, something that everybody agreed on and that he would be home about midnight to 1 o'clock in the morning yeah that they, that's just how they accepted that they were both okay with it i mean him and his girlfriend and um and she trusted him, yeah. But the fact he started to realize that, yeah, during the time that he's with his friends, he actually could be seeing another woman. He started to think that, yeah, because of this uh, one night stand that he had with this other girl. He started to think, wow, you know, he could, he could, you know, his 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 girlfriend could say uh, could um, 
think that he's with his friends, well, you know, once a week or once every other week or whatever. Um, but you know, he, they could go some. Him and his friends could go someplace, and you know, start doing something. But then he could kind of take off early, and then go see this woman, this other woman. He realized that that was a possibility. He he wasn't going to do it, but he realized that the option was there. He said he would never take the option, but it scared him that that if the option is there when he's with his friends, that means that when she's with her friends, that same option could be there for her too, for her to, to see another man. So he started to get kind of, you know, suspicious now because he sees the possibility because he did it, yeah, because he cheated, because he saw the possibility and he cheated. And he realized now that, you know, the nights that she's with her friends, that something like that could happen to her too. Yeah, so he started to get suspicious and, you know, when he, like when she was, she would, uh, you know, go some go out the door, you know, and and not say anything. He just go out the door and and um, he would get all panicky, like, "What is she up to?" Yeah, and all that time she was taking the trash out or something. Like that. She she was just doing normal things, but he was really going into overdrive with his suspicious thinking. Yeah, so. She, he started to, to get every little thing, yeah. But when, one time uh, he was taking a nap, and, and when he woke up, yeah, it was afternoon, and his girlfriend was gone, and uh, and uh, you know she didn't uh, what do you call it um, leave a note or anything. So he started getting suspicious. Where did she go? Who she with? And you know, they start all these things, and. Uh, <laughs> and here all that time she was at her mother's yeah and they decided to go have a lunch together her and her mother and uh, that's where she was and she wasn't doing anything this was in the afternoon of course I know people still do that you know they will cheat in, in the afternoon um, but she wasn't cheating yeah but when you know even if she left a note he would still, he would become even more suspicious. Yeah, like she, if she left a note saying that she's going to, uh, that she's going to the dentist or something like that, um, he, she would start to, he would start to think, is, is she, is she having an affair with the dentist? You know, his mind would be thinking all these really, really crazy thoughts, and. Uh, Nothing like that was happening, but he would think that because he was the one who cheated. Yeah, he was the one who cheated. Now, for those of you who follow this show for years, okay, for the last two years, you know I went through a really bad experience in 2014, two and a half years ago, July the middle of July 2014, I went through a horrible experience in which the person that I was living with uh, decided to um, live with somebody else. And I didn't see that coming. Um, it was it happened so fast. Um, she said she was 100% totally in love with this other person and she was going to leave now. Yeah, so she packed her things incredibly fast. And that evening, I cooked a nice meal for us. Um, and she packed that meal up, leaving me with nothing. But she packed that meal up for her and her lover, her new lover. And she took off like that. And I was so shocked that this happened so quickly. And uh, she said, she told me that night that that she just realized that, 
the day before that she was in love with this other person. That before that, they were just friends. She said they were only friends. They worked on a, some kind of project together. And she said they were only friends. But uh, evidently, this friend told her that, you know, that, you know, there was, this friend was starting to feel love towards her. And so she told me, yeah. And, and then the next day, she said she realized that she's in love with her too. Yeah. So then, the um, so so that's when she left. Yeah. So I started to think. Well, first of all, I was I was shocked because I wasn't expecting that. That like was a surprise hit. Yeah. Like somebody came up from behind me and just hit hit me really hard on the back. For no reason, yeah. And, and I was trying to, to uh, uh, you know, f uh, settle down, you know, try to, to make some sense out of this. And and uh, how did this happen so fast? Yeah. And um, uh, I I was angry for one thing. Um, it wasn't too too sad really i was sad but mostly i was angry because of the way she did it yeah that it was so fast it was like you know like i said i cooked us a nice meal and she packed that up to take it to to her and and, and her new lover and leaving me with nothing and i thought how rude yeah so i was i was angry of the way this the way it happened but there were times that I felt sad too okay and sometimes I was scared as well um, but as I talked on this show about this and th I, I don't have a problem anymore yeah I don't feel anything now and I have I have somebody new in my life so I don't I don't it doesn't bother me anymore okay um, I don't feel anything I don't feel hatred or sadness or anything like that i'm at peace with it okay um but i started to remember something yeah that back in 2013 that i made an online friend from colombia uh, her name was carolina that's all i'll say okay that's all i will say her name was carolina and we were only friends. That's it. There was no flirting or nothing because I don't do that. Yeah? I don't do that kind of thing. So there was no flirting or anything. And we were becoming really good friends. And the person I was living with suddenly became incredibly jealous. And she would get angry. You know, because I just got a smartphone. That was in 2013. I just got a smartphone. And Carolina um, had a smartphone. And we had WhatsApp. And and Carolina would be sending me message. Now, she's in Colombia. There's a six-hour, five or six-hour time difference. Okay? So sometimes she would ask me, Carolina would say, Hi, oh, hola, David. She'd say, what time is it there? And then she would tell me what time it is in Bogota. And uh, and then you know she she would just say how are you doing or what what are you going to do today you know just just common things nothing romantic nothing like that and I even showed the messages to this woman that I was living with I even showed them look there's no flirting but she would get angry and one time uh, we were eating and. Uh, no, 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 no. We were not eating. We were, we were in the kitchen. I think we were cooking together. Yeah, this woman that I was living with. We were cooking together, and my phone went bling, bling. You know the the sound that WhatsApp makes, and uh, this this lady that I was living with, she said, she all of a sudden she really got angry, and she said, "Who is it? Is it that 
Spanish-speaking fucking little bitch girlfriend of yours? She said. <laughs> I was shocked. And I said, where is this coming from? And she said, yeah, it always seems like she's always sending you messages. And I don't, and, and I was like, why are you so jealous? I said, I even showed you the messages. There's nothing romantic happening. Nothing. And why are you this way? Yeah? Because I have female friends, you know? I have a lot of female friends. It's just the way I am. And they're just friends. And she knew that. Yeah? From my uh, from years past, she knew that. And she would never act like this. But all of a sudden, in 2013, yeah, that I'm making this new friend, uh, Carolina from Colombia, that all of a sudden, with this one, the lady I was living with would get, she would explode with anger. Is that your little Spanish speaking fucking bitch girlfriend again? She would say. I was like, my God. Why are you talking like that? Then I remember this Dane Cook joke. Then I realized, ah, this lady I was living with was probably having an affair earlier than she told me. See how that is? <laughs> it's crazy. I was thinking about that. And so <clears throat> I realized that when this lady told me that she was 100% absolutely in love with this other person in July of the middle of July of 2014, she said it happened that time. And I realized she was lying to me, that it actually started a year before. So that meant a year she was having an affair with somebody else. And she was showing it in her jealousy towards Carolina. Interesting. 